Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we will be playing part 29, I believe. Yeah, I think this is part 29 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. And uh, Jack over here is just harvesting some of our plants of our garden. And uh, this doesn't have anything to do with cats and dogs, but when you click on something, there is um, some, some more things. You can fertilize, water all, weed, and research. There's a new icon, but there is actually... Hmm. Oh, okay, well these we can involve, but when you click on some of them... You can't do it now, but you do have the ability to sell the plants straight from here. Uh, and you also have the ability to sell all of the plants. But, oh wow. We have some weeds, so let's go ahead and weed. And evolve. Is there anything else we can evolve? Yep. Let's evolve all of these. So our garden is doing quite well. Oh, Jack's hard work has paid off, and his strawberry bush has already increased to nice quality. That's nice. Um, I wonder what this uh, research thing is. Go ahead and research. But, uh... Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what the research thing is. Oh, there's also a new uh, indicator over here at the top. I think he's just gonna stand there, but uh, there are actually interactions with toddlers and pets, so let's call over Cory actually. Can wait for the pet. And Jack is just gonna stand there, I guess. I'm not sure what that research thing does. Okay, so he has called over the pets, and let's see what he can do. So he can pet, he can uh, babble, and I believe he can also hug before he was sad, so he was able to, I think, like, hug warmly or something. Okay, yeah, he can hug. So he just became friends with Cory. It doesn't take that much for them to become friends. But I do want to get a picture of them hugging. What is he doing? Oh, okay, now they're gonna hug. So I wanna... Let's pause that. Okay, this is not a good angle. But I think it is really cool that they actually can interact with the pets. Oops. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a screenshot. Alright, so that is very cool, I will say. Oh, we did actually go ahead and decorate his room, so I'm going to have him um, play with toy. Let's play with this action figure. And uh, let's check on our bird feeder. Okay, well, he can't do anything. Uh, Ella, oh. Okay, Ella's going to watch a, uh, a frog, and he was going to watch the toddler, Edward. But let's go add some more bird seed to our bird feeder. And at this point of the series, even though they're still young, they've basically retired. Because we are making a lot of money from our vet clinic. And um, actually, let's go ahead and close the vet clinic for right now. Yeah, so we did make 4736 after paying uh, wages for our workers. Uh, very unsatisfied, I don't think that really does anything, but let's go ahead and 
actually travel to our vet clinic because I renovated it off camera and uh, I spent I don't even know probably eight or nine thousand simoleons to finish the vet clinic and this is going to be the last renovation of our vet clinic so it is completely done and I'm pretty sure that uh, we will not go and revisit it later in the series but okay let's just pause this I can take you on a tour of the clinic so let's go over here and you enter and this is the new kind of waiting area um, it has the same core, two chairs, and check-in desk, but it just has some more paintings and decorations. Uh, here is uh, the original, kind of fancy vet room, and the other two look very similar to it. Uh, this one, actually, I'm just noticing I forgot some of the lights, but there are three now identical ones, and you do have a restroom here and if you go to the other side there's a hallway too uh, and there is another oops there's another restroom so now uh, well I mean it's too late now but now we wouldn't need to cheat needs of our sims if you go down here there's a hallway with uh, a surgery room that we never really use I'm not completely sure what the purpose of that is and here is the room to make uh, to craft things like that industrial strength serum. Let's go back around this hallway and there's a door. And here we do have an employee lounge again, so we wouldn't need to cheat needs anymore. Uh, but it is, again, kind of late for that, but at least we were able to work and we made it to the point where we finished our vet clinic and it has become very successful. We did make almost 5,000 simoleons in the last uh, last time we were open, and we are actually not going to stay here. Oh, I also added a patch of grass to be the same as this one, because for the longest time there was one patch of grass here and not one here. So uh, I'm actually going to have us travel, and now that we are retired, I guess you could say, I do want us to explore um, the rest of uh, Brindleton Bay. So let's go here with um, Corey. And no, we can take everyone. We'll take uh, a family trip to Deadgrass Island. And uh, from here, I just want to explore, because there are four sections of, uh, of Brindleton Bay, and we've really only explored two of them in this series. The, uh, the two that we haven't explored would be Deadgrass Island and the kind of downtown area where our Sims got married. We have been to all four like neighborhoods within the series, but I do want to do some further exploration as that is uh well this city of brindleton bay is one of the major kind of things in this expansion pack and the whole goal of this let's play is to explore the different portions of the uh expansion pack while also uh creating a storyline but here is dead grass discoveries it is the museum uh, so it looks quite nice from the outside. Let's see. Oh, is there any way I can make it brighter? Oh no, it's just kind of dark. So it is a museum. Let's just go ahead and view some stuff. There is a place to get some food. Ella can get some tea. Oh, she's viewing something else. So Jack actually instead brew pot of Ron Oolong. All right, so it's like a fishing style uh, area. Well, with lots of painting. 
this is really quite cool. I really like this museum. There's lots of very large paintings and some models of ships. That's really nice. I actually uh, have never really been in here, but I do really like all of these paintings. I think that is very, very cool. It's more like a real museum, and there is a place where you can get food. Um, here's, I guess, like a picnic area. There's even a park sign. This is really cool. I don't know why we haven't spent more time here. Here's the upstairs where you do have just some bathrooms, I believe. There's three bathrooms. Okay, let's exit out of tab mode. Uh, and see what else is here. There is a room with a computer. Oh, there's someone reading a book, and then if you go upstairs, there is this room that doesn't have any doors. Um, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, what is he doing? He is drinking his tea. Oh, let's bring Susie over here. Okay. Now, let's see what we can do around this island. There's some stuff growing, so let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't collect anything yet. But here is Susie. What we can do is we can um, give some special smooches. Then we can uh, pet. And then, oh, let's go back. Let look face. And just kind of explore the island. There's a little pathway over here. You can fish. This looks really cool. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this area does look really, really nice. Here's a ship to get back to uh, the docks. And over here, there's another beach area. Let's... Can we send Pet to explore? Let's send Cory to explore that. There's some more fishing that we can do. Very, very beautiful area, I will say. Down here, there is... Another fishing spot, so lots and lots of fishing over here. As well, it looks pretty cool. There's some limestone. Go send Cory to explore that. Up here, there is. Ooh. Okay, we can. Where's Ella? Ella is viewing some stuff, so Jack, let's go over here and look for some frogs. Kind of like a tide pool area. Is this filled with water? Yeah, it looks like it is. Uh, Alright, so I guess we're just going to explore the island here. Oh, there's more frogs. Let's go look for frogs. Send pet to explore. Cory. Again, Cory. This is a really actually cool walkway. And let's dig for treasure. Hmm. That's interesting. I haven't seen that, but... Oh, wow. This is, uh, the graveyard. The shape of a coffin. Oh, that's kind of sad. But I do want to go over here. Can we click on any of this stuff? No, but it, I do know that if we come at night, we can... Well, let's read Epitaph. That should be interesting. No, we can't click on most of these, only that one. Uh, hmm. Okay, you found a spotted leaf frog. Let's actually speed this up. Read Epitaph. So there were only two of them that we could read. That is very interesting. But this does look really cool and actually kind of creepy. Um, let's see, is there anything else we can do? I'm sure there's stuff hidden underneath these trees, so let's see what that is. Nap nip. Wait, is that what we have? Is that cat nip? What is this?
Hmm, I wish we could hover over and see. Oh, okay, we can actually. What is this? Catnip. Let's see what napnip is. Let's. Oh, we can't harvest it. That is very interesting. This place is really cool. And over here is the more open area. Ah, okay. So he is digging for treasure. Oh, all of their needs are really bad. Let's uh, cheat need, make happy. Where is he? Why is he angry? Tired. Uh, cheat need, let's make all of them happy. Because I really don't have time for this. But let's unpause that and dig for some treasure. Looks like there is a fossil here. Dug up a capsule. What could be inside? Uh, it'll probably be one of those uh, kind of doll things. Oh, in, oh, he read it from that far. In loving memory of little buddy and princess whisper, friends to the end, may they find an eternity of boxes to climb, doors to yowl at, and glasses to drink from, and human beds to sleep on. Oh. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Okay, so work for Jack will begin in an hour, so can we take another... One sneezy and wheezy, now breezy sleeps easy. This is really creepy. Is this the one that we read before? No, okay. Let's read this one. Okay, so... Let's go over here and... Um... Take family leave. Oh, there's even a little sitting area back here. This is really creepy. Dazzler, first mate to the captain, a darling doggo lost at sea. Oh, can we go down here? Whoa, this is really cool, actually. How do we get down here? Okay, let's try to see what is down here. Hmm. It seems as though nothing. It does look like an entrance of some sorts, but it doesn't seem to go anywhere. I will say whoever designed this did do a very, very good job. Okay, so he's going to now call in sick. Well, he's taking family leave. But, yeah, I will say, I guess I'm... Oh, I've been saying that a lot in this part. Uh, but it is nice just kind of playing The Sims uh, and exploring rather than working at the vet clinic. What is this? Just a tree? Um, but I think that's all to see here. Maybe in the next part we can go, we can travel to the docks. Susie's hungry. Hmm, actually, let's not do that. Let's have them all go home. And I will replenish their needs off camera. And after that, I will film the next video. So, uh, yeah, let's take all of them. So, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.